Hey everyone, this is Eric with Verse Design, and I am bringing you yet again an episode of my Let's Build a House series. And this is going to be episode four. And what I told myself starting this episode is that, well, for starters, I wanted to get the living room <laughs> put back together. And I don't remember the exact way that I had it, but it's pretty close. We're going to come back in and do the interior more later. But we stick to the landscaping, and I wanted to do something special because it's just such an awesome lot. There's such awesome terrain, and there's really the potential to, like, stack stuff in a way that, like, really saves space. So in just, like, the smallest little part of foundation for this house, we fit a second floor, and underneath that, even, we add, like, a deck and a pool in this episode. And yeah, it looks awesome so far. I'm really excited about it. I wanted it to be more minimal on the outside. And let me interrupt myself real quick. Hedgewig, one of my followers on YouTube, told me she, uh, that they didn't like the tile. So <laughs> I went ahead and changed that. Yeah, so we switched up the tile in the kitchen and it looks a lot better. It's the late night ones. That was the request. And yeah, it ends up looking a lot better. So thank you for that request. Um, yeah, so <laughs> as you can see here, this is just doing small stuff in the basement. I don't think we uh, do anything down here, but I'm starting to realize more what I want downstairs. I want it to be either an extension for the master suite or like a communal bottom floor for the entire house. And I'm leaning more towards part of the master suite just because it lends itself to the style, like the vibe for the house, the whole bachelor style. So... That's what I'm leaning towards right now, but leave below in the comments what you'd like to see, and we'll, yeah, we'll try something. And here, I am putting in the stairs down the terrain. That's what I said in my last video I wanted to do. So, yeah, we're going to come back in later and fine-tune this part, too, because I'm just, I don't know. <laughs> I don't do this very frequently, and it always gives me trouble when I do. So, yeah. <laughs> but it ends up looking cool. It ends up looking like, uh, what's, there's a house I'm thinking of, a famous one that looks like, anyway, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it ends up looking cool, and I like how it looks. So, we end up doing more rock work in this house, which isn't something I really wanted to do, but the height of the pool, the only way, you'll see in the video, the only way that I could fit a pool in here properly and make it look decent was to do rock work and yeah it looks good I wish it looked a little bit different I wish it were like maybe tucked closer to the house but I think it's going to give me a lot of CFE problems if I do so <laughs> we're just keeping it how it is for now and I think it looks plenty good enough and that little piece of green <laughs> giving me troubles for like no reason at all but yeah it's all finished here we are just giving a nice shape to the deck, something that matches the house. Um, I'm not in love with the shape still. We may change it, but at the end of the video, this is the shape that it takes. And yeah, the entire time I'm doing this, I'm just second-guessing myself. I don't like the stilts. I don't really like the shape of the deck in the beginning. I end up actually really liking it at the end of the video. But yeah, so we just kind of try to power through and get it done and see what it looks like when it's finished and stop judging it <laughs> when it's half done, um, which is something I do frequently. I find that I just don't even give things a chance in The Sims. I do it for like five minutes. I'm like, oh, that looks terrible, and I quit. But it has the potential to look really nice. In my last Let's Build a House series, I almost quit before I even started, and it's one of the, my favorite builds I've done, so <laughs> I don't know. I'm just trying to be a little bit more open-minded, try new things, uh, even if they're things I think I might like, try them anyway, just to make sure. <laughs> so, yeah. And this part right here, I believe we... Let me see what we are doing. Oh, that's right. We start with the terrain work on the pool outside. And we are just trying to eliminate some of the stilts because, I don't know, they're not very sightly. So we come in and do some editing and change up the stilts, too. Yeah, here is the, the texture for the flooring out back. I use a dark wood, and I think it looks nice. I think it may get changed, though. Maybe something that doesn't match the inside of the house so much. Um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. Here we are working on putting a pool in, and here you see my problem is that when I put the pool in, it doesn't become the length of the deck, and I think there's a way to do that, actually, but I just wasn't, <laughs> I didn't care. I just went ahead and 
did with it what we could. And actually, it ends up leaving more space around the outside of the pool than I had wanted. But that gives me room to do cool stuff like some rock work and, yeah, just make it look nice and high end. And it ends up looking a lot nicer than it was than I thought it was going to, what my plan was anyway. My plan looked really scarce and just not very good. So once we come in with the rock work, <laughs> it makes it look a lot better. And apologies if you don't like watching the rock work. I know it takes forever and stuff, but it's part of the process. It's how I came to the design that I have for the house, and that's the point of making it. So <laughs> I don't want to edit things out if I don't have to, basically. And yeah, this is the basically, actually, this is a lot quicker than I thought it would be. <laughs> we do rock work on this side, on the side with the trees that I place, not the ones that are in the world. And yeah, I think it ends up looking really nice. It's a little bit extensive with the rocks, so we might come in and change it a little bit because I do rocks up near the house as well. But I don't know. You be the judge. You tell me in the comments below what you think looks good. And yeah, apologies again if you were wanting this to be an interior episode because that's going to be the next episode. <laughs> I just finished with the outdoor like patio area and we haven't done any outdoor lighting or anything yet. So we're going to come in and do that at a later date. But yeah, in one of my previous episodes, I had mentioned that this was going to be a short series, which is probably not going to be the case. <laughs> this is probably going to be longer than the first series, but you know, I'm having a lot of fun building this house and giving or like getting input rather and implementing it in the build. So I'm fine if this takes a bunch of episodes. I don't care. I'm having fun doing it. And here we are coming in, adding those uh, banana plants, banana leaf things. I don't know. They look kind of tropical and they do a lot of masking for errors that the game creates like weird terrain glitches and stuff like that so adding plants and rocks and stuff really starts to hide some of those imperfections and makes it look more detailed too so you know it's a win-win <laughs> and we're just coloring things black underneath the deck getting things realistic under the deck I didn't want to just leave it blank because if you happen to look at it from a different angle you may be able to see through and see that it looks like cheap but yeah, so we come in and add some plants and rocks and, you know, what we do with the rest of the exterior and just fill it in and make it look nice and even. I wanted to use a variety of different palm trees on the lot. So we use, I have no idea. I do not live in a part of the world where there are palm trees. So <laughs> I have no idea these different types of palm trees. They're just big and some are brown and some aren't. So <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea what kind of trees they are, but they're there and I think they look nice. I'm coming through with the sand texture now, the terrain paint, and just putting in like a sand path down the like cliff. And I think that looks more realistic. I was thinking about even taking the time to go through and create a walkable path down the cliff lot and have no stairs, but that just seems really dangerous to me. I think it would look cool, but it just seems really dangerous, so I don't think I'm going to. And here's my predicament when I do, like, in, this isn't an infinity pool, uh, not quite anyway, but it's close. And my predicament when I do rocks inside the pool like I do in infinity pools sometimes is that once they hit the top of the water, they can start looking really odd. Like, they don't stack properly, and they have weird glitches being in or out of the water. So, I don't know, we do our best, but it, it looks weird, and it's going to need some editing later on. And yeah, trying to just mix up the different like borders that I'm using, like the different fences, the different half walls and stuff like that. We're going to come in and edit the half wall that goes around the whole, like the entire deck area and switch that up, make it look a little bit better. Because right now it's just a solid wall. But <laughs> if you follow my YouTube channel, you listen to my commentary, you watch my builds, you know that we are always editing. So yeah, <laughs> shouldn't come as a shock to you then. Yeah, we are editing just the small parts now on the deck. The pool was oversized, but I didn't... Well, okay. The pool was oversized, so it gave me troubles placing like the outdoor cooking, barbecue and stuff. So we end up doing a really weird design. Well, I should use the word unique, I guess. It's not necessarily weird. It, I think it's appealing. Uh, but 
yeah, it's just like smushed over in that one corner, the triangle corner. And we end up putting an outdoor like barbecue, a uh, little refrigerator, some cabinets and, you know, just stuff to fill the space outside. Usable stuff for your Sims if you're actually going to be playing this this house. And yeah, I like to really compliment the large um, Island Paradise rocks. And in one of my previous videos, I called them Into the Future rocks, which is totally wrong. They're certainly from Island Paradise. But I like to use those rocks um, with the small ones. So it gives like a more of a variety. You'll have the three Island Paradise rocks and then the like good five to ten like smaller rocks that come with the base game. And I think there are packs, like stuff packs and expansion packs that have more rocks. Because I've seen them in other people's like gameplays on YouTube and stuff, but I don't have them. So, yeah, I'm just using the the Island Paradise and the base game rocks. And coming in, filling this outdoor area with some greenery, just making it kind of private and a little bit lush. Privacy is not a huge concern with this house for me because it's on a private lot. So, like a bathroom that juts out over the ocean, you know, <laughs> it seems like not very private, but it's a really private lot. So, we're just going to run with it for now. At the end of the day, it's The Sims. It's not a real house. It doesn't really matter. And, yeah, so this episode, like I said, and if you can't tell already, focuses on the exterior and the landscaping and the backyard. I guess you can call it a backyard, but yeah, it focuses on that primarily. And I'm, I was doing that because I don't know how I want to do the downstairs yet. I thought maybe creating the rest of the lower floor with the deck and all of the pool stuff. And I thought it would maybe give me a little bit of inspiration for how I want to use the bottom floor. And it didn't. <laughs> so I didn't record episode, uh, what are we on? Five now? Yeah. Cause this is episode four. So I haven't, uh, like, recorded episode five yet as I'm recording the commentary for this. So yeah, if you have any recommendations for the downstairs area, just let me know because I think it will probably be, well, it will certainly be a laundry, a television area because there's no television upstairs. Um, yeah, it'll certainly be those two things, a bathroom, a television area, and oh yeah, that's right, a laundry because there's no laundry on the main floor. So, yeah, that is what is going to be downstairs for certain. But if you have any recommendations, like a skill room or an office, maybe even an extra bedroom on the second floor, let me know. Uh, the only problem with a second bedroom, and I had that request before, and I even think it's a good one. I think a second bedroom, a guest room would be nice. But the entrance to the bottom floor is bachelor style. It's in the bedroom. It's in the main master bedroom on the main floor. So if we do a bedroom downstairs, there will be like more editing that needs to happen, which I'm fine with. But yeah, just leave me your comments below what you'd like to see and we will go from there. Coming in and adding more of the weird banana things <laughs> all over, just making it look filled in and lush. And yeah, so far I think it is pretty successful. It looks very tropical out back and very like modern and geometric in the front. And that's one thing I really love about building on cliff lots is that it can look one way from the front and a totally different way from the back. And that's really what I'm trying to do with this build. Do something like really un like unsuspected, something surprising out the back. And yeah, more of these weird banana plants. <laughs> Just filling them in everywhere. And I've realized that using those to fill in areas makes your house so expensive. You don't even realize when you're doing it, but I added like $11,000 to the price of my house just by adding those plants. <laughs> I was really bored building this and I even went through and like monitored how many I was putting. They're like $60 or $40 a piece. So yeah, they really add up. I had no idea. <laughs> and the last couple of minutes of this build, I think it's like two, two and a half minutes left. We do an outdoor sitting area which is going to be right here where I'm placing all of this stuff. And then, like I said, we do the outdoor barbecue. And it ends up looking really... It, it, I want it to look like a single man lives in this house. Like some single rich dude <laughs> lives in this house. And that's the vibe I'm going for. And so far, I think it's really... Uh, I think it's successful, It's at least in the way that I want it to be. 
So yeah, I've gotten some critiques on the house. Some people want to see some other stuff like right here. Some people want to see wood on the house and more realistic textures. They've said that the lime green and the white doesn't really do anything for me. So they want to see some more wood texture, but I'll have a video up soon that is all white and wood texture. So I really don't want to copy that color scheme and go with white and wood because that's what I did with my last one. So I'm thinking of maybe even coming in and switching up the entire color scheme, doing something maybe even like dark or like steel. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. So we're going to come in in episode five and really nail down the finals on the exterior because there's not a lot left on the interior to do. We've made some pretty decent progress. So yeah, I'm looking forward to getting this last episode filmed. And this is one of the last things we do here. We add just a few more rocks around the outside of the deck and try to hide that piece <laughs> that I had to put through. It's piece of a counter. And yeah, so I think it ends up looking like a really nice outdoor area. I was conscious of where I was putting the barbecue and the refrigerator and put them in a place where you can like use them in game. So that's not a problem. It's a fully usable outdoor area. But you know what, guys, there's about a minute left in this video, so that's going to do it for me. Thank you again for tuning in to this newest episode of my Let's Build series, and I will have more up for you guys shortly.